For over a decade, I've been warning the public about the dangers of genetically modified organisms. More specifically, aspartame, developed by Monsanto from an E. coli pool of toxic waste behind their facility. Now, one of the first sweeteners to be used was once a biological weapon called sodium saccharin, stockpiled by the U.S. government for years and deemed useless after the war, was repurposed for a sweetener in diet soda, causing many problems, including a cancer scare in the 70s with Tab Cola. Now, nothing has changed. The FDA and the EPA have been paid off and you have been made sick for decades. In fact, for 50 years. Now, new research uncovers more dangers of artificial sweeteners, potentially leading to serious health issues. Well, the facts have never changed. But according to a new study, some of the most commonly used artificial sweeteners could potentially cause serious health issues by making the bacteria in our gut invade our intestine walls. The study underlies that there is still a lot we do not understand about the sweeteners being added to many diet products and demonstrates that further research is needed. And the fact that these have been deemed safe for decades makes it even more suspect. Now there is a lot of concern about the consum consumption of these artificial sweeteners with some studies showing that the sweeteners can affect the layer of bacteria which support the gut, known as the gut microbiota, which in turn controls your immune system. Now, have why Shikye, senior lecturer in biomedical science at the Ruskin University in the UK, lead author of the paper, says that the sweeteners in question, including the ultra-popular saccharin, sucralose, and aspartame, they have shown for the first time to cause two types of gut bacteria, E. coli and E. facilis, to go pathogenic. And that is insane. These pathogenic bacteria were then able to attach themselves to take over and subsequently kill CACO2 cells, which are the cells that line the walls of your intestines and allow you to digest food and keep you safe and alive. All it took was the concentration equivalent of two cans of a diet soft drink. In fact, all the artificial sweeteners increase the adhesion of both kinds of bacteria to the cells of the intestine walls. Holy macaroni. That's bad news for your immune system, for your health, for your vitality. Now, all three of these poisons, which they call sweeteners, also increased the formation of biofilms, which made them less sensitive to antimicrobial resistant treatments. So you can't even fight the damage that these chemicals do to your own body. It's disgusting. Pathogenic gut bacteria attacking the intestinal walls is bad news. And almost 30% of the population is ingesting this poison on a regular basis. 30% in North America is causing harm to their own body through products deemed safe by multinational corporations. I hope you're picking up what we're putting down. Grow your own food. Stop eating and consuming processed poison and live free and healthy. Now, previous research has shown that the E. facilis bacteria that cross the intestinal walls can cause a number of infections, including septicemia and even blood poisoning. 
but the predominance is an inflammatory response in the body, which could be anything. And 99% of it is misdiagnosed. So stop eating the poison. Stop feeding the pig of the multinational corporations killing you. And eat some sugar for fuck's sake. Be safe. We love you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the dystopian world where you're fed. Well, the food you eat is food for sheep. And that's a boom to knowledge. Unless you grow it, read the ingredients and be safe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And happy 4th of July, our Independence Day. Independence to buy the food that does not contain poison. Nee, nee, nee.